Are you ready to crown me king as I'm more? Your time is up. Your Highness, they are not the chosen one. Then, what do we do? I need to have a successor. Your Highness, you need to cut the Omo. If you succeed, then you are the successor. The same blood. I said, Mom, I do not understand. I said, I am done being the king. Cut the armor. You do not have a successor. You are the successor. You lie. I am the successor. Some student. Oh no. Crown me king. I said, crown me king. My king, you're not saying anything. Ezomo, both of you are not saying anything. Crown me king! Crown him.
near done. You are not the king's successor. I am. You treacherous bastard. How dare you? <laughs> oh. Your Majesty, thank you are awake. Let me, let me get the doctor. Did you call a military like that? I strutted you. Yes, I did. But he's not thinking. Let me get the doctor. Please. Wait! Call him again. I need you to be who? Call him now! Okay, Your Majesty. Call, call him again. Please, I, I, I need to get back to oh, work. Just hold on. Don't hold on. I know you will go back. But Cindy, I need you to think about what I told you. You are the only one I long to be with. I can't just take my mind off you. I, I keep thinking about you. I, I think I'm in love with you. And you know how I got to know I'm in love with you. Because my dream is finally better than my reality. Think, think about this. The king is awake. So I'll take my leave. The king is awake. Hey, hold on. Where are you rushing to? Come on, why is your face like this? The king is awake. It's good news. See, Obelense, I need you to do something for me. You saw the maid I was with. I love her. I love her very much. I don't even sleep. She is the woman after my own heart. I need you to do something for me. You know, you know how to talk to them. Talk to this girl for me. Tell her how much I love her. If you're able to convince this girl to be mine, I will compensate you. In fact, send me your account number. I'll send you something to know how serious I am. The king awaits you. Fine. I'll see the king. Thank you. Well, you've done that before. I don't even know how they keep getting my new numbers. Are you sure you're not behind this? Why will you think I'll do such thing? Just switch off the phone or something. I'm still busy. Babe, when I told you I could draw a portrait of you of heart, you didn't believe me, did you? No, you wouldn't. Come over and take a look for yourself. Where did you learn how to draw like this? Well, I learned it in the States. This is a very beautiful work of art. I'm glad you like it. <laughs> Do you also know I could um, draw a nude portrait of you? Oh, please. You wouldn't. You doubt me? Of course you wouldn't. ta -da!
What is wrong with MNEK? What the hell is wrong with MNEK? Baby, where are you? If you do not come out, I'm going to call Obelenzi and tell him where no, you are. No, 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 please. Please, no. Don't joke with that name with me next time. Okay, fine. I'm not going to do that next time. But could you at least pick up his calls and know why he's been calling you frequently? I am not interested in whatever reason he's calling me. I do not want to see anybody. Is that difficult to grasp? Baby. Your Majesty, I'll keep trying my best. You are strong. Tell me, how long do I have? Uh, look, I don't want you to patronize me. Just tell me how long do I have so that I can get them to prepare my son to ascend the throne, please. You have seven days or less, Your Majesty. I'm sorry. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Please, do not disclose this to anyone. I promise. I'm not going to disclose this to anyone. I will never. Pick up my staff. Sorry? Get my staff. <sighs> Swear with it that you will never disclose this to anyone. It's your Majesty. I am a Christian. Ken Kennedy, I command you to do as I have instructed you. As I will consider that a treasonable offense, you know the repercussion. I swear by the sacred staff of, of the king, I will not disclose this to anybody. Thank you. Thank you so much. I have been observing the both of you. What is going on? What was he telling you? He says he wants to marry me. And you want to marry him? No! Why would you say such a thing? I don't want to marry him. I belong to you. It's you that I love. You know. You don't belong to me officially. As you can see, I'm just struggling to survive. We are just servants. I know. Love in your heart is greater than gold in your hands. If you choose money over love, you remain poor. My mother always said that to me. You see, your wisdom is the reason I love you so much. I love you. I love you so. <laughs> Doctor, how is the kid doing? 
He's doing well. The king is a strong man. She's getting better. Doctor, excuse us. It's your majesty. Oh no. My son has refused to talk to us. He has refused to come back home. My wife and my two daughters, they've all gone out there to live with I need my sons around me now. now. Can I ask you a question? Go on, my king. Para virtue, anything happens to me. And my son is nowhere to be found. Who then ascend the throne? Because the throne cannot be left empty. My king, the law stipulates that someone from royal blood will ascend the throne of the king. Please now, your son. My king, I don't think we'll get to that. Even if something happens, Emenike must come back. The throne cannot be empty and wait for Emenike to arrive from wherever he is. I need my son in three days. Oh no, I have done everything within my power, all to no avail. Please, oh no, catch me, my son. I will try, my king. How about your daughter? I've not spoken with her for years now. Please, I beg of you. It is time to reconcile with your daughter for the sake of my son. You understand what I am saying? Yes, my king. Upset about the way I spoke to you, and you don't like being spoken to in that manner. I'm sorry, okay? I'm deeply sorry about that. It won't happen again. I made you a portrait to atone for that. I didn't tell you. You didn't tell me what? I didn't tell you that I've not been in good terms with my father. We've not been talking for years. What? Why? What happened? He said he says me as a son he never heard. He wanted me to return in the family and give birth to children. That way his lineage would not be forgotten when he's gone. Isn't that crazy? Why? Is he sick or dying soon? I was humiliated. I was angry. I left and I told him he would never see me again. Why? Why do our parents keep doing this? Why do they keep thinking we have to live our lives according to their dictates as though we are still in the olden days? Don't they know we have grown that people have the right to decide what they want to do with their lives? I'm going to tear this No, 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 please. Please. I like it. Are you sure? Yes. He's still my father just like your father is still your father. And besides, he reminds me so much of my sister. I like it. Thank you. Say so. so I 
I saw when you were talking to her. What did she say? Do me a favor, mister. With all due respect, stay away from her and concentrate on the one that loves you. Hold on. Obilinze. Is it me you are talking to like this? What do you mean I should stay away from her? And who are you to tell me who to concentrate on? Why, why, why would I stay away from her? Why would you even say that? Because she belongs to me. Excuse me. <laughs> Hold on. What, what just happened now? Hold on. Your Majesty. Doctor. Welcome back. Thank you. Hi. How are you? Are? How is he doing? He's stronger. Hello. Thank you. Hi. Missed you. Missed you too. <laughs> Welcome back. Thank you. Thank you for everything. Um, I'm just doing my job. Thank you very much. Welcome back. All right. Tell me about yours. I mean, what happened between you and your father? You've never disclosed it to me. When I wanted to travel to the States, my parents objected strongly to it. My father especially refused. He insisted I was going to stay back here in Nigeria. This is a man I have loved all my life. The only crime I committed was wanting to break away from him financially and become independent. That was it. This man practically disowned me. Now he wants to see me. No. All I'm here for is just to stay with you, get married to you, and then we'll move back to the States. Oh, come on, baby. We're here to finalize our union, right? Yes. Then we need their blessings. You need my father's blessing just like you need your own father's blessing. Babe, we can we can get friends and relatives. You know, strangers um, to do. Ah, um, my father is the second in command. The second important man in the kingdom after your father. You don't expect us to have any hard wedding, do you? I'm not ready to discuss this now, please. We'll talk about that later. Can you fix me something to eat and furnish? Yes, Your Highness. I, I, I'm no Highness. Don't call me that. <laughs> if you say so. I insist. <laughs> Thanks, babe. So please tell me, I'm back for all the gist. What's been happening in my absence? Let me gist you. Tell me. Hey, hey, do you know that two people have been fighting for Her Majesty here? Wow. Yes. That's big. Because the last time I checked, it was only Obelenze. It's not just Obelenze now. Wow. Yes. Who and who? Kennedy, the palace doctor. Wow. That's huge and confusing. <laughs> you guys should stop acting as if I'm not here. The last time I checked, I'm, I'm visible. 
Tell me, Your Majesty. You guys should stop calling me that. Don't call me that again. Ibro, Her Majesty. Ah, ah. Why your body peppering you like this? Are you so not Her Majesty? Me. So please tell me, since there is now a competition, who is it going to be? The rich doctor? Oh, Belen. Please, I want to hear. See. Mm. Money can buy you a fine dog, but only love will make him wag his tail. Money can feed the body, but love feeds the soul. Money can't buy love because it's overpriced. Yes, money cannot buy love, but at least it improves your bargaining position. So tell me, who is he going to be? The Belenzi or the rich doctor? <laughs> Belenze is the love of my life. <laughs> love, 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 love. Love wanting to. Meanwhile, okay. since the rich physician is interested in the palace name, I'll be free to shoot our shots. Why not? Come on. Are you sure? Enjoy. <laughs> Have him to yourself. Love. The address he gave us was fake. And he has refused to take his calls. Daddy, I don't understand any of this. This is not making any sense to me. Why would he give us a fake address? I am so angry. Since Emenike has decided to excommunicate himself, we all should just let him be and move on with our lives. Oh, please shut up and stop blabbing. You just open your mouth to her just because you want to get involved in every adult conversation. What? Shut up. I, well, I, I said shut the fuck up. I'm not done talking. That is sick. I've told you several times that Emenike is the heir to the throne. He will definitely come around and find out what's going on here. Maybe you're too young to... Oh, please, stop! Do not even start with that age propaganda here. Mom, talk to your daughter. This is not why we're here. Emenike is simply being childish and dramatic, and she's here supporting it. Oh, please, please, please. You both should leave. I need to be alone with my husband now. Leave! Can you guys have your food now? Don't worry, my daughter. I am not hungry. No, I won't take that. Daddy, I know you like food so much. You love food. You can't tell me you're not hungry. Dad. Daddy. You have been so worried since you came back. What is the matter? Nothing serious, my dear. Come on, Dad. You tell me everything, right? This must be so serious. But I want you to tell me what is bothering you. Dad, you know I'm so good at profiling solution. Well, um, he's the king and his son. What about them? When last did you speak with your sister? Today. Of course, we talk every day. You know our relationship is sour. Modesta. Dad. Please. Call your sister. Tell her to convince the prince to return and see his father. Why? Why does the prince need conviction to come and see his own father? Our relationship is as sour as uh, mine and uh, your sister. Dad, are you sure this is a good idea? She might be erratic, you know. <laughs> Just call her. Okay, if you say so, I will. Mention three countries to start with the letter Y. Letter Y? Uh-huh. 
Yugoslavia. <laughs> Let me finish. No. <laughs> no. <laughs> okay, my turn. <laughs> now, mention seven rivers in Africa. Wait. Seven rivers River, in Africa. Ri um, wait. One. Wait. Two. Um, three. Four. River Niger. Five. Six. Seven. Your time is up. <laughs> you need to do that. Sorry, hold on. Yes, hello? Is your father not Modesta? Hello? I can hear you. If it is not important, I wouldn't have called you. I know our relationship is sore, but please try and convince the prince to come and see his father. You need my blessings and that of his father. And if he eventually returns, make time to come and see me. Enjoy the rest of your day. What did she say? Babe, what's going on? Who was that? That was my father. You spoke with your father? Yes. He called me with my sister's number. Baby, you need to go see your father. No, 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 no. Don't tell me that, please. I do not need to see anybody. I'm not going to see anybody. In fact, babe, we're not going to have any traditional marriage anymore. We'll just go wedding court and travel abroad. Why? Come off it. We are Africans. I can understand there's nothing like traditional marriage over there. But we are Africans and you are royalty. I am not going to see anybody and that's fine now. Uh, Your Majesty, the drugs I gave you uh, make you strong to attend to the meetings and other royal responsibilities. You will be fine. Thank you, Doctor. Thank you. Your Majesty. Your Majesty, I beg to take my leave now. My King. Your Majesty. I know who awaits you in the throne room. Charlie, I hope you're with him, Charlie. My lord, is everything okay? I'm fine. There is something I want you to know. It's a secret. I already know what you want to tell me, Your Majesty. It has been revealed to me. You will be embarking on a journey of no return, and you have limited time. You are truly the eye of the gods. You understand the implication. Yes. A new king must be prepared. My son is the heir, but he has refused to come back home. Zemo, it's a strict tradition that the next king must be purified before the coronation. I do not have time. And my son has refused to come. I do not know what to do. Oh, is there anything you can do? There is nothing I can do, Your Majesty. 
For your son must accept the kingship without force or compulsion. A new king must be purified in the next three days. I take my leave, Your Majesty. It's about father and then Menike. What? Is father about to die? Where did you get that from? He's so desperate to see Menike. And he has been really sick. I heard the Ezemo has been visiting the palace for the past two weeks, more than the way he has ever visited the palace since father became the king. Menike has has communicated himself. So what I don't understand is why this is stressing everybody. Emilike is the heir to the throne. But he has made it clear to everyone, even before he left the palace, that he has no interest in the throne. Eva, that's not his decision to make. He is the only son. He must be interested in the throne. That's his inheritance. Well, so now that he has made himself unreachable, what is going to happen? I mean, what would be the situation? We need to make a decision that will be beneficial to you and your family. Love is good, yes, but there is more to marriage than love. Listen, at some point in marriage, eh, love will no longer matter. So you need to make a wise decision for yourself. Excuse me, I want to talk to you, if you don't mind. Thank you. Thank you. Merci beaucoup. Hi. Good evening. Good evening. Uh, Saint Didi. Didi, please, just tell me you belong to another person and I'll stop bugging you. I am serious. I will not disturb you again in this life. You belong to the princess. I don't love the princess. I don't love her. You are the person I love. She's not the type of woman I want to spend the rest of my life with. You, 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 you are. Sing Didi, I'll make you the happiest woman on earth. I promise you. See, as my wife, I will even want you to be a medical doctor. Yes, because I'm a medical doctor. I want to, pre I want to preserve the legacy. So I want you to be a medical doctor so that if I'm sick, I'll come to you. Will be romancing my buttocks and be giving me injection because I don't want any other woman to touch my bum bum. Come on, you're so funny. <laughs> you're pretty. Thank you so much. You know, I've, I've always wanted to be a medical doctor. For real? I, I can help you achieve that. Uh, serious. Just, just say yes. Please. Um. I'm, I'm really confused now. I'll, I'll think about it and get back to you. How long do you... I'll see you some other time. Good night.
What's going on? Why are you staring at me like that? Accomplishment does not erase shame. Hatred, anger, silence, discrimination, or immorality. It only covers it up with a creative version of pride and ego. Only restitution, forgiving yourself and others. Compassion, repentance, living with dignity will ever erase the past. What are you talking about? Are you sick or something? There is only one way to find out who is actually sick or dead. Come with me. You did this to yourself. I hate you. You must die. You must die. Hi. Thank you so much, honestly. I even forgot it was my birthday today. Thank you for reminding me and thank you for this very warm reception. Hmm, you all seem amazing, you know? Like, I, I didn't expect this. For this very kind gesture, I'll talk to the palace administration to add to your salaries. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. 
Again. Thank you, Mama. I am overwhelmed, honestly. Every day I thank God for bringing me into this family. It's not often time that you see a family as united and loving as ours. I want to thank you all. This is overwhelming. I mean, yes. look at the portrait. I never expected all of this. <laughs> but in all things, I want to say thank you for being my family. And in my next world, I'll still like to be born into this family. Oh yes. Thank you, Dad. <laughs> okay, no, that's enough. It's time to come make a wish and blow off the candle. Blow off your candle and make a wish. So, so on this wonderful occasion of my birthday, I want to use this opportunity to make a wish. Mm, yes. That you all live in good health. Amen. That mom also lives long and continues to bask in the euphoria of joy she has brought into this palace. Amen. And that daddy here will live long, longer than his ancestors. <laughs> here we go. Hold on, please. Hold on. What? I have a wish to make from you too. Please, find a wife, marry before oh, we God. die. You know. <laughs> you Mama, you never stop. <laughs> <laughs> There is no time. Have you been able to talk to your daughter? Your majesty, I have. I have to understand that she even refused to pick her sister's call, unlike before. I don't really understand. Uh, but the doctor said you are getting better. Why are you so worried about yourself? There is something you need to know. I have barely 24 hours to leave. I don't understand my king. Yes. The doctor said I have few days to leave. And this have already been revealed to his end. This is no good news at all. Yes. This is why I'm so desperate for my sons to return. You know, he has not been purified and he cannot ascend this throne when I leave without being purified. I don't want him to come here out of pity. So, do not reveal this to anyone. 
In fact, I command you by the sacred staff you have sworn to not to reveal it to anybody. He is the heir apparent to the throne. Find my son. The throne cannot be left empty. If by tomorrow he is not here, I will choose another king from the bloodline. Well, I already have someone in mind. Who is he, my king? Balanze. Listen, I don't want to discuss that topic anymore, please. We have to talk about it. I am sure this is the reason why your father wants to see you. I'm too angry to see my father now. Come off it. Anger is stupid. And stupidity kills you faster than your opponent's blade. I'm just not ready to listen to all of that now. What if it's a matter of life and death? You did this to yourself. I hate you. You must die. You must die. I had a terrible nightmare. Really? What was it all about? He was in the palace. Who? I was having a nap. My sister Eva, she walked in, said some things and asked me to follow her. I did. On getting outside, I met my mother and my sister staring into a coffin. I stretched my head to see what was inside. Guess who I saw inside the coffin? Who? Me. And he said, you did this to yourself. I hate you. What does that mean? I don't know. You see, the goal of life is death. After death, you all become what you were before that. And we will experience death someday and become obsolete. As a dead leaf falling from a tree, crushed by a passerby to ashes, underlying the earth. Hold on, Dad. Why are you giving us death adages? Are you planning to die? Eva! You see, everyone will experience death someday. So that is why you have to be ready. I lost a friend to the cold hand of death. And that got me thinking that I would die someday. That is the reason Emenike must come back later tomorrow, or it will be too late. Too late how? My lord, is there something you're not telling me? I need to see Emenike. Everyone here must put effort to find him, to get him back home. As this kingship will move to another family. For power, oh, 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 oh. on 
because of true and no Is it my lune man over the Do you know where your sister lives in Lagos? I would like to visit her. She wouldn't approve of that. Do you know where she stays? She said MLK made sure she packed out of that place before he came back. And she has not disclosed the new location to me. Try and communicate her. Tell her it's a matter of life and death that I would like to see her. Daddy, the problem now is that all our numbers are not connecting. Is there no other way you will communicate her? Okay. Maybe through Instagram or Facebook. Then do that. Okay. Something is off about that. It's been years that Emenike left. I mean, he has never mentioned him, even for once. And all of a sudden, he's desperately in need to see him. I'm more worried about his death allergies. Kennedy said he's fine, but I think he's just scared. He said if we don't bring Emenike back by tomorrow, that something will be too late. Now, the question is, what exactly will be too late? And how do we reach Emenike? How? Only one way. Which is? To call the person I swore never to talk to again in my life. What is my husband, your patient, hiding from us? I, I don't understand. He's my husband. And I deserve to know what is going on with him. Something is not right with my husband. And I'm sure you know what that is. Talk to me. If anything happens to my husband, and I find out you are aware, I will ban you from stepping your feet into this palace and probably lock you up. I understand you are in love with a maid in this palace. And you are about breaking my daughter's heart. Don't worry. I know everything that happens in this palace. That is why I intend to know what is going on with my husband? Tell me, how much do you love that maid? Your Majesty, I love her very much. I intend to marry her. I'm sorry, Your Majesty. Ruby is a wonderful... Tell me what is going on with my husband. And you will have the maid. Your 
I thought you said you're in love with Obelenze. What happened? I I think I'm beginning to like him. He means well for me. And he said he will help me actualize my dream of becoming a medical doctor. I thought you were a smart girl, Ndidi. Don't you think that this is a scope to lure you to his bed? I don't think so. He has not even told me anything about sleeping with him. Okay, he stays in the palace now. Yet, he has not invited me to his apartment before. See, the moment you said you were not into him, I fell in love with him. Please, I'm begging you. I can't even sleep without thinking of him. Please, focus on Ubelenze and leave him for me. Please. Hi. Yeah. Um, please, could you excuse us? I I really want to talk to you. I should excuse you guys. Yeah, maybe later I come back. Okay. If you don't mind. Okay. This goes well. Hi. You have served me faithfully. You are a graduate, an intelligent young man. You have the opportunity to serve or work in the bigger, greater establishments, but you chose to stay with me. Thank you. I will forever be grateful. My king. I'm only discharging my royal job description, which I have sworn to. You did not swear never to quit when greater opportunity comes your way. You chose to stay with me. What is this, my king? Open it and read it. My king, I don't understand. You are now a shareholder in my company and the operations manager which entitles you to a duplex and a car with mouth watering salaries with effect from 7th of next month. My lawyer has a copy of this. Congratulations and thank you. Thank you for all you have done. My king, may the gods of Nkolofia Kingdom bless you and give you long life, my king. I live for you. I am so grateful. My king, your kindness is second to none. You are a man of integrity, sensitivity, and with true humanity in you. Even if I walk in your company, I will always remain your personal assistant. I do not wish to leave your side, for without you, I, Obeleze, is nobody. Thank you, my king. <laughs> Obeleze, time is pregnant. With time, and in a few days, you will have a decision to make for yourself. 
I do not want my family to scatter. And with you in my family, my legacy is protected. In view of this, and to be a permanent member of my family, I want you to marry my daughter, Eva. My king, I'm only but a servant. I'm not worthy to marry the princess. By next month, you'll be one of the richest in my country. You will no longer be a servant. Think about it. What are you hiding from me? Woman, I am tired. I need to go and rest. What did you make Kennedy swear to? He told me he swore never to see something. What is that? My love, I think I need to go. Ah! Please, get the doctor! Please, open it, sir! Open it, sir! Please, get the doctor! My kid! Please, my kid! My kid! Please, be fast! Be fast! My kid! I couldn't tell her anything because I've already sworn by the sacred staff. You did the right thing. Yeah. You see... You need to come with me now. The king is down. The king? Now. Why? Simple. How about this? Yeah. No, this one is too simple. It's basic. Mm -hmm. uh -uh. Who could be calling you my special number? Maybe Modesta. But I already blocked her. Then who else? You won't believe it. Who's that? Your sister Ruby. Ah no, 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 please. Whatever she has to say, tell her I've gone back to the States. Mm -hmm. I'll, in fact, I'll be waiting for you upstairs when you're done. Yes, Ruby. For you to call me, I am sure someone is dead. I know you're with my brother since he came back to Nigeria. I just want to tell him that father said he must come home tomorrow else it will be too late. This is serious. We don't know all the details yet, but something is off in the palace. Your father should know. Tell him to come home tomorrow, else it might be too late for him. Thank you.
He is just stressed. Uh, he needs rest. He will be fine. Um. Abelenze. Once Kennedy leaves, got me Eva. Yes, my king. Good. Excuse us. I am not going anywhere, my lord. Whatever it is you want to tell him, I need to know. Why, why are you treating me like I'm a stranger in my own house? Please. Leave us. I command you. Say it. I'm afraid, Your Majesty. You have less than 24 hours. You almost told my wife, you know what would have happened to you. Your Majesty, she nearly broke me, but I stood my ground. Do you wish to marry my daughter? Your Majesty. It's okay. Don't, don't worry. If you don't love her enough to marry her, no problem. But let her know. So you don't keep her hopes hanging. You stay part of the family. But if you change your mind, let me know. I'll give you my blessings. Thank you, Your Majesty. I'm going to take my leave now. Cool, man. Balance and give me the phone. Call him. Ah, Balance. Whatever you are doing, leave it and come to the palace immediately. Don't go to the house, come straight to the palace. Now. Okay. Thank you. There is no more time. Your successor must be purified this night. I know. I'm registered. Call him and go with my phone. Your Majesty, his number is switched off. In the absence of your son, who do you want to name as your successor? Remember, it has to be from the same bloodline. Avalanche, my younger brother. And so shall it be. He must be purified this night. He's already on his way. What happens if my son 
eventually returns after the purification. Once he enters the circle of the sacred kinship for purification, it is irreversible. However, Your Majesty, you still have the opportunity to get back your son this night. I will take my leave now. Is there no way this purification can be postponed till tomorrow? I am only the eye of the gods. I say and do what I am instructed to do. Your Majesty. You need to give me time to think. I, I, I really need to think about it. I've given you enough time. What are you thinking? Seeing that a great tragedy is going to befall this palace. I am serious. What do you mean, tragedy? Is that why the, the SMO is always here? And is that what you've sworn by the sacred staff? I don't know. I don't know. I just need to know what I'm doing. See, the king has already given me his blessings to marry Ruby. But I don't love her. You are the person I love. Is the king dying? Tell me. See, if you really love me, you don't have to hide anything from me. What do you know about the sacred stuff? I... I think it's a symbol of power. Very powerful. If you swear by it and breaks it, what happens to the person? I don't know. But it has to be very dangerous. See, indeed, what matters is that I love you. I love you very much. Just say yes. Please. Father, how can you ask me to marry your personal assistant? A servant whom I do not have any bond or relationship with. Oledo. You know you are my favorite daughter. I will not deceive you. I know you can never deceive me. I want the best for you. Hmm? I've seen the future. But Dad, you haven't even asked me if, if I love him. I know he's very hardworking, intelligent and responsible, but... That is all you need in a man. You just said it all. Yes, my daughter. That I don't, I don't think we're compatible. Look, my dear, what counts in a marriage is not how compatible you are. It is how you deal with your incompatibility. Look, my dear, a good marriage is the one that allows change and growth in the individual and the way they express their love. But I heard he's in love with a maiden. Look, my dear, marriage is an alliance between a man who cannot sleep with a window shut and a woman 
who cannot sleep with a window open. There is much more to marriage than love. Well, it still boils down to love. So what if he doesn't love me? Look, my dear, you are my daughter, so beautiful and sweet. It's only a lunatic that will not look your way. Hmm? You know, you are a jewel of inestimable value. <laughs> Oh, hold on, Dad. Why are you suddenly matchmaking your favorite daughter? What is going on? Is I just want to make sure that my family is fine before I... Before, before what? My nest of fire. Oh. <laughs> oh, my <lady. laughs> Please kneel and give me your hand. I don't know. Stand as witness. Yes, Majesty. Kneel. Abeleza, come close. Now, I ask you, will you marry my daughter? It's, it's raving, raving. I'm not worthy of this. But if my king and my princess find me worthy, who am I to say no? Princess Eva, ever since I was born till dead, I have never come across anyone as poor Cretudinas as you are. You're so perfect. You've got a gorgeous smile and a beautiful body that can keep anyone attracted to you forever. Your beauty is easily perceptible that even the blind can see it because your beauty is in your soul and it can only and it can only be beheld in the mind. <laughs> That's enough. That's enough. <laughs> Give me your hands. <laughs> I know. <laughs> Give me your hands. <laughs> Obeleza, I trust you with my life, love, cherish, and protect my daughter. Protect, do not allow my legacy to fade away. Protect my family with all you have got. I want you to promise me that you would do that for me. I promise, my king. Now you have my blessing. Go into the world and multiply. What's going on here? What just happened? You have to undo what you did now, Chinito. Oh, you now call me by my first name? Yes, I am your wife. I deserve to be carried along in any decision you take in this house. You have to undo whatever you have done. I'm lost in my own house. No servant will ever marry any of my daughter. What nonsense. Your Majesty, please, you have to leave now. The king wants to rest. Excuse me? Are you ordering me out of my own matrimonial room? You should leave. No. Kate, you should leave. I said leave. <laughs> Go enjoy your marriage. <laughs> <laughs> Why have you refused to tell me what's going on with my father? The king is fine, he's just recovering. You lie. And you look horrible when you lie. Well, I've told you what I know. There has to be a reason you live here now. I came back, I noticed you've been given a room in the palace. 
Why is that? Is my father dying? No. Where did you get that from? The, the king is not dying. He's just recovering. Then why is he bent on seeing Emenike? He said if Emenike doesn't come here tomorrow, it will be too late. What? Will be too late. Emenike is the heir to the throne. His father needs him around, especially now he is sick. The king is fine. He's not dying. Don't say that again. By the way, I thought you said you were going to quit smoking. Since you're here now, can we see tonight? Maybe you might get me to stop smoking. I will be busy with the king. You keep giving me excuses upon excuses. What is going on with you? Excuse me, ma'am. Ndidi. See me later tonight. We need to talk. Okay, ma'am. So I ask you again, are you seeing another woman? I need to be with the king now. I'll see you later. And what was that? What the hell was that? What was what? You kneeling with a servant and holding hands with the king. Oh. Mother, you worry too much. We have pressing issue at hand. Father demanded to see your son in Menike or something will be too late. I think we should focus on that and handle other things later. Listen, you went to the best university in the world. I know that. I trained you very well. I'll be very disappointed if you have decided to stoop low and marry a servant. You know that will never happen. Where is your son in Menike? Why does she want to see me? Princess Ruby is going to kill me. She will kill me. Titi, calm down. I've told you to calm down. To worry yourself too much. If you're scared I told her something, I did not tell her anything. Maybe she's just calling you for something very important. I don't just want her troubles. She wouldn't take it lightly if she finds out you're talking to me. Titi, you, you, you worry yourself too much. Why? I've told you to calm down. Dr. Kennedy. Uh, Obelendi, what is it? Can I have a word with Ndidi? Are you sick? What is wrong? You don't have respect again. Can't you see I'm discussing something very important with her? When I'm done discussing with her, then you can come and have your word. What's the meaning of this? It's important I have a word with her. So what makes you think that what I'm discussing with her is not important? What is it? My friend, get out! And why are you not saying anything, Ndidi? What do you want her to say? Okay, to ask me to go. That, that's because I don't want to hurt either of you. Please, I'll just go. Oh, no, hold no, on! No, 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 no. You don't have to. Stay. You can stay with him. He loves you. Why? I am betrothed to another. Wow. This is good news. Congratulations. What does that mean? It means it means he's in love with another person. This is good news. It means you can stay with him. Thank you. Good boy. 
I've always known you're a good boy. This is good news. You see how he gave up on you? I can never give up on you. Never. Have you been able to speak with him anything? My lord, you've asked this over 50 times. His number is not connecting. But Ruby has been able to reach his fiancée through a strange number. What did she say? She didn't say anything. You know he took after you. Stubbornness is the bearer of disaster. Please. If I am no more, do not let them fall apart. Do everything to keep the family and protect the name at all cost. We have lost him in the Oh my Lord, we have not lost him. He will come back. Even if he does, it will be too late. What do you mean too late? Your Majesty, our balance is safe. Bring him in. And uh, on the road too. Your Majesty. My great elder brother, King Obuago. The great man that took Nkorofia kingdom to the enviable height where we stand today. I greet you, my king. Your majesty, greetings. Lord, great excuses. Elder brother, you sounded so urgent that you wanted to see me. Please tell me, is anything the matter? Are you all right? How balance it? My king. I am dying. I God forbid. What is going on? Oh no. Our father came to me. It was not a dream, it was real. He told me to come home safe. He's waiting for me. He said I should bring Jonah and Ojo Koto. You know how much he loves Jonah. Oh no. What is going on here? I don't understand. Abalanze. My king. I have waited for my son. For so long. He has refused to come home. You know the throne cannot be empty. And uh, the kingship must not leave the bloodline. So, you have been chosen as the next king. Your Majesty, what's going on in there? Why are there too many secrets in the palace lately? What do you know? I know nothing, my majesty. 
other than the king is recovering from his sickness. That is all I know. Liar. He compelled my daughter to marry me. Why would he do that? That's because he's the king and he knows what is good for his family and his kingdom. I say, I also know what is good for my family. Listen, no servant will ever come near my daughters over my dead body. This is not making sense to me. Eminike is the heir to the throne. Eminike is not interested in Kisha. He has refused to come home. We have done everything to bring him home. How balance it. Tonight is your purification. Be a great leader. Marie listen. Great leader is not defined by the absence of weakness, but by the presence of clear strengths. A great leader has the ability to stand alone, the courage to take tough decisions and the compassion to listen to those who are in need. A well answer to handle yourself, use your head. And to handle others, use your heart. A king is a dealer in hope. Make our ancestors lead you aright. this time of the night. I need to find out. Mom, please, don't go. No, it's scary. But this is not what you wanted. Now you are ready to kill. You are ready to destroy. Anyone that's tired. Which is eye of the gods. I demand to know what is going on in the palace. There has been a lot of secrecy going on lately. 
Please, may I know what is going on? It is time. Let's go. Abalanze, son of a dear friend. Abolanze in the palace. And where is he going with them? I do not know. This is definitely some kind of royal ritual. Ritual that I do not know about? Abelenze, leave us. I said Abelenze, leave us. No, he's not leaving. He's family now. And I will appreciate if you all stop treating my betrothed like a servant. Your what? What are you talking about? It's okay. It's okay. I will leave. But please be brief. The king wants to rest. He actually instructed me not to allow anyone in here. My king, my king, why was Eze more here with his acolytes? And why did they leave with Tabalanza? I'm tired. I want to rest. Ruby, I lunch your colleague when you get a holiday to go. Yeah, I called his fiance. But she hasn't gotten back to me yet. And the number I used to call her is no longer available. It's okay. It's a person who wants to see my son for the last time. Daddy, but you can always see him. He's not going to run forever. Okay? I need to rest now. I'm tired. to be strong. Don't mind whatever my wife does to you. All you need to do is to win the heart of my daughter. Then you will win her heart. He 
you this to my son. Tell him I love him and I forgive him. Secure my king. What was that you said in there? What was what? About you being betrothed to Obelenza. <laughs> yes. Father asked me to marry him. It came as a shock to me though. But what can I do? Father is the wisest man I know. Though, I never knew I was going to condescend that low. I kind of suddenly fell in love with your Belenze. So yes, we are betrayed to each other. <laughs> that is the most stupid thing I've ever had in my entire life. <laughs> stupid? Really? Do you know what is more stupid? Falling for a man who is in love with a palace maid. He chose a palace maid over you. Because he's a wise man. What nonsense are you talking about? Okay. You should try asking Obelenze. People go to where they will find happiness and peace without paying attention to class. We have to allow ourselves to be loved by people who really love us. People who really matter, people who really care for us. Too much of the time we are blinded in pursuit of people to love us. People that don't care for us. People that don't matter. And all those time we waste. Looking and seeking for validation for people to love us. Those that really care, they stand on the side, walk, and watch us beg on the street. It is time to put an end to this. It is time to allow ourselves to be loved. I loved Evelenze. I never knew I was going to love another man. See, you've been so caring and, and loving, not minding the fact that I'm a servant and you an elite. You stoop so low just to prove how much you love me. Kennedy, you've stolen my heart completely. in my heart. But the problem is, is the princess. Hey. She trusts me. I, I, I wouldn't want anything that would, that would hurt her or, or break her heart. Hey, baby, just relax. When we get to that bridge, we'll cross it. Take the call to know what, why she's calling me. What am I supposed to tell her? Just take the call. Hello, my princess. All right, ma. All right. The princess wants to see me. Don't worry. Just go and see her. 
everything will be fine. What's going on? You've been doing this all day. Baby, we need to go home. Why? Because of what Ruby said. Because she said it was a matter of life and death. Listen, babe, that's their ploy to get me to come back home, and I will not fall for it. What's your problem? I don't understand you. I need to go back home. I need to reconcile with my father. If we have to continue with this, then I need their blessings. I need my father's blessings. Don't you understand it? If you choose to remain here, then I'll be taking the first flight tomorrow morning. I can't continue with this. to investigate the maid who is sleeping with my man. I was told he's in love with the maid. I need to know who she is. the only one I can trust. I need you to verify this and get back to me. Alright, my princess. The gods have chosen You can now wrestle the gods of the land You can now fight this in me Has turned you into a devil, but this is not what you wanted. Now you are ready to kill. Mom, your majesty. He knows something. Who? Oh. Obelense. I need you to find out what he knows about what's going on in the palace. <laughs> Why would I do that? Mom, you don't like this man simply because he is going to marry me. Now why would you want me to take advantage of a man you do not like? You are stupid and foolish. The palace is agog. The king is sick and confused and you're bothered about a mess servant being taken he advantage of? He is not a servant. He is my husband-to-be. So please, stop insulting him. Are you crazy? Are you mad? How dare you talk to me in that manner? Things are like stars, they rise and set. They have the worship of the world, but no truth. Kindness and faithfulness keeps the king safe. Through kindness, his throne is made secure.
eyes for power oh, All because of Trono Is it my lonely man over there? I lonely man over there Me near my feet What are kings? When regiment is gone, but perfect shadows in a sunshine day. Don't forget your great guns, which are the most respectable arguments of the rights of kings. because of the throne, the gods are wise, the gods have chosen. You cannot wrestle the gods of the land. You cannot fight this in me. Oh, the death for the throne has turned into a devil. But this is not what you wanted. Kings come and kings go, but the throne remains. That comes for us all. Even for kings, he comes. Pearl dead. Beats equally at the to, at the A king is only as great as his loyalty. The crown is heavy, but it is a burden worth bearing. A true king rules with compassion, not fear. Kings and queens are made by their actions not their birthright. The mark of a good ruler is how they treat the less among their subjects. A king's strength lies in his ability to listen to his people. That is what made King Obuago outstanding amongst all. For a king to be a good king, everything about him must die. His pride, his personality, his ego, his selfishness, and every other. That is why you will sleep in this coffin till morning, where you will resurrect as the king. Go into the coffin. Hope like an ocean wave breaks the fear of the grave. Ab About faith and true love, the, the name lives like, like a deer. The deaf ones can lie here, ransomed by, by your own, own blood. blood. Ano sulu no no bo Ye se bulu de no no bo Ima na nje nje na nje le nje unu no kwanso Agu bia kwa nene Agu bia kwa kube Hope like an ocean wave Bring the fear of the grave Abound faith and true love. They live, they live like, like a deer. The dead ones now can get ransomed by your own blood. Hevo, 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 hevo.
Why are you blowing a debt? This can only be blown when death is imminent. Please, stop blowing it. Stop blowing it. Corruption in the land All because of the throne The gods are wise The gods have chosen You can now wrestle The gods of the land You can now fight this in me Oh, the death for the throne Has turned you into a devil but this is not what you wanted Now you are ready to kill You are ready to destroy Anyone that stands in your way Father died sitting on this throne. And I will die sitting on the throne. O Belenza. My king. Is my son back? No, my king.
Father. What's going on? My husband. Father, I'm back. My husband. Father. Father, many kids back. Why is he not responding? Father, I'm back. He's dead. What? Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. My husband. Father. Father. Father, I'm back. Father, you don't want me to come back. I'm here now to see you. I'm sorry I did not come all the time you wanted me to come, but I'm here now with flesh and blood. Father! My father! You can now wrestle the gods of the land. You can now fight this in the death for the throne has turned into a devil. But this is not what you wanted. Now you are ready to kill. You are ready to destroy anyone that stands. It is time. He needs to be brought to the shrine for his final purification to prepare him for the journey to the world. Your quest for power. Your quest for power. Let me go. I've not seen you in ages, and this is what I have hoped to. There is no time. We need to go now. I would have done it to this to 
been sick receiving treatment. We thought he was getting better. But I'm shocked beyond marrows that he died. He asked after you time after time. He asked everyone that knows you to call you to come home. He was so desperate to see you. You were the last person he asked after of before he died. He died a few minutes before your arrival. It's okay, babe. Now tell us, where have they taken him to? It's a ritual thing that happens when a king dies, after which his body will be deposited in the morgue. Obelenze, where is my father? Behold your new king. Go and do the needful to rule your people with strength and courage. I of the God. Avalanche. Faith takes the, the step, even without seeing the whole staircase. Be ready for the battle ahead. Do not be afraid of the battle ahead. The gods are with you. Go in peace. Put yourself. What has happened has happened. There's nothing you can do about it. Could you excuse us, Destiny? I want to have a word with my son. No, mother. No, stay. I mean, what's the point? Because eventually I'll tell her everything you discussed with me. So it will be so much stress for me to relay that to her when you she could easily sit here and you say whatever you want to say. Very well then. Your father is dead. And that is the most painful experience I've ever had in my life. 
But I wouldn't want to do well in it. Had he been aware here, there's every possibility he wouldn't have died. Wait, Mom. Are you trying to blame me for father's death? I want to remind you that you're the heir to the throne. You're a king. So behave like one. The Onu and others will be here in a moment to coronate you. Because the throne cannot be empty as the custom demands. So you better get ready and stop brooding. I'm not ready for that now. I just want to mourn and bury my father. There is no time for that. You have to prove to them that you can fill your father's shoes. Um, Mom, I I'll take from here. Okay. Baby, stop this. Please. Your father is gone. You have to be strong. You are the heir to the throne. You have to fill in the space. And you have an eligible queen beside you. Together, we, we are going to rule this kingdom. You remember your father's legacy. Please, comport yourself and be strong for me. Okay? This is your throne. Are you ready to ascend it as the king of Nkolofia Kingdom? I'm ready. I love you. I love you too. And together we shall rule this kingdom. A few minutes ago, I wasn't certain I wanted to ascend the throne after my father. But thanks to my wife here, <laughs> who has prepared me for this great task ahead. Now I can boldly say that I am ready to step into my father's shoes and continue from where he stopped. Thank you very much, Yemenike. No, father, please. Correct yourself. You do not address the king by his first name. It is your highness. Can we all sit, please? My sister, that is it all. Okay. What is it? Your majesty, you need to go to the throne room now. I advise you go. Something odd is happening down there, please.
Welcome, Your Majesty. That they say acquit us all of obligation. Death is not the biggest loss in life, but the highest loss in life is what dies in us while we live. Death and life are one, as river and sea are one. The king is dead. It's a great loss, but life must go on. When the king was alive, he tried to bring the heir back home. I tried. I spoke to my daughter. He sent the queen and his daughter to go and scout for him to no avail. Even on his last minute on earth, the last thing he said was, is Emene came back. And when he was told no, he told Obelenze to tell his son that he loves him and has forgiven him. According to tradition, whoever will sit on this throne must be purified. So the king decided to choose Abalanze as his next successor. Abalanze has been purified, and we are here to crown him the next king. What nonsense are you talking about or no? What rubbish did you just vomit from your mouth? I did not make the decision the king did. Lying. You've connived with greedy Amalanze to deprive my son of what is his right. But that will never happen. Oh no. A king does not talk too much. Crown me. Crown me and I will make my verdict. Down for the conversation. And what do you think you are doing, Father? What is the meaning of this nonsense? You hear my voice, okay? Let me just go out there and see what's going on. Go where? No, no, no. There's, there's no. I'll, I'll allow you to go out there. What if the palace is under attack? You don't even have a military training. Just let the security do their job, please. Oh, come on, honey. Calm down. Nothing will happen to me. You don't know. I went to military school, and my father no. is a military. Okay? Please, I'll be right back. But I'm not sure. I don't know that. Calm down, for me, okay? I'll be back, okay? Mm -hmm. Right. My father never liked you. How come he chose you as a successor? Emenike put down that God. I have been purified. I have been fortified. I have been fortified by the sacredness of Nkolovia kingdom. I slept all through the night in a coffin just because of this day. How dare you put a god before me? Put down that god because you cannot scare me with it. Baby, shoot him! 
When a gun roars, performance art dies. And may I remind you that a gun is no more dangerous than a cricket bat in the hand of a madman. Guns don't kill people. People kill people. A man with a gun is more dangerous than the gun itself. Get out of my palace. Get out! Now. Emenike. For the sake of Nkolo of your kingdom. And for the fact that he who sells egg does not start a fight. I shall be back and I'll be waiting. Get out! Looks like a spit from, 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 from the planet of Pluto. Bastard! Maybe you should have shot him! That's what you do to, to animals like him! Time, baby. Time. Oh, she would have just shot him. We cage him and put him, put, put him somewhere or something. Set him ablaze. Don't worry. If he's not careful, he'll definitely die by my hands. I promise you, Abalanze. Retarded dinosaur. Alligator. Fool. Father. He had the opportunity to become royalty. And you just used every opportunity for me. Just like that. Will you shut up your mouth? Who gave you the temerity to talk to me that way? Are you well at all? Or do you think I am not banned? You and the prince placed yourself to that end. I pleaded with you. I begged you. Father, why are you sounding as if you do not know who the prince is? He is way too stubborn. I had to threaten him. That was the only way he had to come down to this village with me. Sister, father, please, you people have to calm down. There might be a way out of this. It's too late. Abalanza has been purified. The water used to wash the face of the king has been used to wash his face. So it is irreversible. It has to be reversed, father. It must be reversed. My husband, my fiancé, my husband-to-be will never let any other man on that throne. So it has to be reversed. Abalanza is not yet coronated. Or has he? Reverse it. Father. All these years, she never changed. Are you aware my father chose Abalanze as his successor? I'm not aware of that. He never mentioned it to me. I am as shocked as everyone here. That vulture. He has always had his eyes on the throne. I think he's responsible for my husband's death. You're right, Mom. I think that man is responsible for my father's death. So what is the way out of this? Ezemoa is the way out. He's the only one that can resolve this matter.
as a monk. Eminike interrupted my crowning and swore to fight me. The eye of the gods, you are aware that I have the interest of my people at heart. I have the interest of Uncolofia kingdom at heart. If not, you are aware that I can make Eminike disappear from the forces of the earth. Mana, as in one the ma nkiri, adro mwe ponto. Oto, kato balo, toti ife, ile neze, jiwe polo wane, biri no fono. Why is one? To avert this calamity, is there no way we can erect another throne in my house and have me crowned there. Nkolofia Kingdom from time immemorial has only one throne, only one palace. And that is where the king will stay. The palace is the place where you must be crowned. And that is where the king will live and rule his people. Ezemo, as it stands now, what are we going to do? That tyrant nearly killed us. He shot at us. I don't think I'm going back Will there. you shut up your trousered ape? I saw your foolery with my eyes. I saw the way you, you, you ran away with your tail between your legs at the sound of the gun. Look at you that was shivering as if you suddenly caught cold. I see your tail. Look at who is talking. I see your tail. Look at who is talking. Your Highness, you are king already. The crowning is merely a necessity. The throne cannot be empty. If not, there will be calamity in the land. Oh no, what's the implication of this throne remaining empty? It will bring calamity to this land. What type of calamity? I don't know. You don't know? Would you want such calamity to befall this kingdom? The question should be, would you allow such calamity to befall this land? No. And that is why I want you to crown me king immediately. I will do no such because I am a custodian of the law. I will not bring calamity to my people. This is not a request. It's an order. I'm sorry. I will not crown you. Crowning you will bring more calamity than this throne being empty because a king has already been chosen. I'm sorry, Dad. You don't have any other option than to coronate him. You allow him to go on at your father? That's because I am protecting what is mine, since you wouldn't do that for me. Shoot me. Even in debt, I will not do that. I knew. I knew you were going to put up this act. And that's why I have a plan B. Hey. 
Kennedy, what have you done? I am protecting the palace. What now? He will be up in a few minutes. He will be rational. Whatever you tell him, he will do it. Good. Obelenze. My prince. Go out there and make sure nobody comes close to this place. Yes, my prince. and he trusted me with the affairs of this kingdom. Yes. He knew I know how he thinks and I do not want to betray him. Okay. I want to be loyal to the prince, your brother, but not at the detriment of the kingdom. Okay. Um, what's the situation like? Ono has been dropped <gasps> to coronate the prince subconsciously. That is very, very wrong. It's bad. If the king has been chosen, and purified. If MNK wears that crown, there will be calamity and a dangerous one at that. It might take lives, starting from his. Are you certain of this? Of course. The king told me himself. See, if there was anything the king could have done to make sure MNK was coronated as the king, he would have done it. So what do we do? Somebody help! Somebody help! Princess Eva, she just slumped. She's not breathing. I think she's dead. What? Princess Eva? Yes. How? Eva. Eva. Eva, what is it? Eva, wake up. Eva. Eva. Hold on, hold on. I don't know. I don't know. Hold on. She's just. Eva. Eva. Drop it, drop it. Are you okay? Are you sure she's fine? Yeah. Sorry. Let me take her to the room. Yeah. Easy, easy. Easy. Sorry. Sorry. I think she's exhausted. Are you sure she's going to be fine?
Papa, what is this? Get me red oil okay, now. Papa. What happened? Your sister, Emenike, the Queen Mother, and the doctor drugged me. What? What for? The only thing I can remember is the doctor injecting me with a substance. Papa, hold on. I don't get it. You mean Destiny was there and this happened? She is no more the destiny used to know. She is desperate. At this point, I'm so ashamed of destiny. You mean destiny drugged you? Because she wants to be a queen mother by all means. I'm so ashamed of her, Papa. We are here. Where is the crown? Which crown? Oh, Father, please. Stop making this more difficult than it is already. Where the hell is the crown? I swear, with the sacred staff of the late king, I did not take the crown. How could I have taken it out from the throne? Where is the crown? I've known him for years. He is my father. And I am telling you that he's not with the crown. If he's not with the crown, then who is? Bastard. Let's go. This is not destiny, my sister. What's going on in the palace? Everyone is scared. See, indeed. I think my business in this palace is over. It's really over. It is becoming more dangerous, so I'll find a way to take you away from here. We go somewhere, get married and live forever after. The commotion in this palace is, is crazy. It's becoming deadlier. One doesn't even know what, what, what is going to happen next. Now the crown is missing. It's missing. And this, this is huge. The king is dead. I don't have business here again. So I think I'll just take you away from here. We we'll go somewhere. Get married. How about the, the princess? I, I mean Ruby. Ruby? What about Ruby? See, I'm not worried about Ruby. You are my priority. You are. I'm not worried about her. I'm worried about you. See, baby, I will take you away from here. Very soon. We get married and live forever after. Right? I'll, I'll have to take my leave. We'll see some other time. Yeah, I'll see you later. Later, right?
So where is the ground? It's safe where it is. Okay. What next? Without the crown, there will be no coronation. Without the crown, there will be no coronation. No. Remember they said there will be a disaster, I mean, if the throne becomes empty for so long. Yes. So? I know what to do. You sure? Where is the crown? What nonsense are you talking about? Don't pretend like you don't know what I'm talking about. I said, where is the crown? Mr. Man, where is the crown? We don't have time for this nonsense. Emenike and Destiny. On our Choi Joase. Kamwiria for wine. I say, Kaga John Utu. Makano Sutu. Bihena Goza. Will you? Put down that gun. You probably think I'm here for some folk tales. Where is the crown or I will kill every member of your household starting from you? Put down the gun! I mean, you can put down the gun or I shoot her now! I mean it! I mean it! You know I have the license to kill people with unlicensed gun. Are you both insane? You came here to harass my father. You both are lucky I'm in a good mood today. Otherwise, I would have wasted you and nothing will happen. You have grown big enough to pull a gun at me, Jacinta. Little Jacinta that I knew when you enrolled at the academy. You pull a gun at me. I mean, you You spew one more trash. I will waste you here. Right now! I give you 24 hours to provide that crown. Else, I will wreak havoc in your household. It's a promise. Get out! Let's go. The death of a lion cannot be announced by a goat. seen anyone my princess how are you sure about that because there's no way he's going to condescend so low to be sleeping with his servants when he has you my princess hmm. all right just keep digging all right my princess Take it easy. Are you okay? I'm sorry, ma. Are you all trying to tell me you did not notice any sort of movement in this palace? I'm asking you! Now the crown is missing. 
and without the crown there is no palace. You want to tell me you all are in this palace and someone walked in here and took away those things without your knowledge? I give you till nightfall to find it. Else, I will hang you all up a stake and set you on fire. And get out of my sight! You shouldn't have exhibited your anger in the presence of the domestic servant. It will create panic in the palace and it might filter to the kingdom and then the enemies of the kingdom will seize this opportunity to strike. Shut up! And don't you ever try to tell me how to rule my kingdom. Try again! I'm beginning to become so uncomfortable with everything that is happening in this palace. First, I lost my man to Ndidi here. Secondly, the queen does not consider me her personal maid again. And now this. Please, what business have we got to do with the crown? Because I don't understand. Listen, the crown is the symbol of a palace. In fact, it's the most important thing in the palace. If it's no longer here, that means our services are no longer needed. Now the question is, who took the crown? Why are you so quiet, Ndidi? Do you have anything to say? Say something. The thing is, I'm, I'm so tired and, and confused. The princess is still bent on finding the, the maid that Kennedy is dating. If she finds out I'm the maid, she'll be so disappointed. <laughs> Didi. Sorry, please, can I have your word? You can have your word with her, but have it well. I nearly peed on my pants when the prince was ranting. That was so much for me. I know. Ndidi, you are one of the wisest and intelligent girls I have met in my life. Thank you so very much for taking the crown away when we distracted them. So where is the crown now? Somewhere very safe. Wow. You are so amazing. Kennedy is lucky to have you. Um, I'll see you later. You said you're betrothed to someone. Who is the person? Princess Eva. What? The king gave us his blessings before he died. Wow. This is huge. Um, I'm so happy for you. Thank you. Do you love her? Love doesn't just sit there like a stone. It has to be made like bread. Remade all the time makes new. Love is not affectionate feeling, but a steady wish of the love person's ultimate gold. As far as you can achieve it. Thank you once again for everything, Ndidi.
Let me just ask you this question. Are you with the girl? Come on, no, no. How could you ask me such a question? Am I stupid? Oh no, our balance is sitting beside you here. I've gone through purification. I am now sacred. And I know very well the implications of playing with sacred items. Oh no, Emenike is just playing with our intelligence. That young man knows where the crown is. I thought so too. But to what end? Even if he took the crown, he cannot crown himself. Exactly. But the issue is that I cannot be crowned either. Emenike has realized that he has already lost the throne. So he decided to hide the crown just to keep us stranded. But let me come in here as a detective. How did you lose the crown? I was drugged. Emenike and the doctor drugged me. I managed to regain consciousness and then when I woke up, no one was there. So I took off. These guys are very desperate. But I'm so certain that whoever is with that crown is in that palace. And that throne cannot remain vacant for seven days. Else, calamity will hit this community. Oh no. Please. What do we do about this? It's beyond me. Ezemo is the only person that can determine what to do next at this point. I am the heir to the throne. Not anymore. The kingship has moved from your immediate family to another family of the same bloodline. What are you talking about? I am still alive and kicking. I may not have returned when my father wanted me to because I couldn't make it. Plus, I never knew he was going to die. Now he is late and I am the rightful heir to this throne. If you were in my shoes, would you let someone else take what belongs to you when you are still alive? If I were you, I would have stayed close to my father to learn the custom and tradition of my people, knowing fully well that I am heir to the throne. A king has been chosen and purified. It cannot be undone. As a more, this is the computer age. Tradition can change. This one is obsolete. Men made tradition. And men can change tradition. You see this particular one? It will not work. Traditions are the guideposts driven deep into our subconscious mind. The powerful ones we can't even describe, aren't even aware of. Custom grows on the vine of tradition. Look, tradition has never weakened a nation. Instead, they guide and protect the nation at the time and hour of their peril. Tradition means giving power and votes to the most obscure of existence. It is democracy of the dead. Tradition refuses to submit to the small and arrogant oligarchy of people who merely walk about. The throne cannot be vacant for more than seven days. Otherwise, calamity strikes. The crown is gone. Abalanza took it. The crown is useless without the throne. Do not mess up your father's legacies. 
exactly why I want to do everything possible to maintain my father's legacy. He would never have done what he did if he knew I was coming back. I will take my leave now. Ezemo. Ezemo! Ezemo! This throne belongs to me. Come rain, come shine. Nobody takes it away. Nobody. Do quest for power. All because of throne. No. Is it well? Name it over the I have begun. Is there any problem? This is the crown. I had to save the prince and the kingdom from doom, which Prince Emenike almost attracted when they drugged Ono to coronate him subconsciously. Hmm. Obuago spoke very highly of you. He also said that if you were his blood, he wouldn't have hesitated to make you his successor. Thank you. Those are great words of compliment from my king. Please keep the crown safe until all the quagmires and fiascos in the palace are settled. I will. You took the right decision. Thank you. Thank you, Eye of the Gods. Good night. Good night, Obelazi. He says the ritual is irreversible. <laughs> what if Abalanza dies? Who is going to be the king? Because he has not been coronated. No. I don't want to kill anybody. I don't want blood on my hands. I've done that in school, in university. But I've grown above that now. If anything happens to him, all accusing fingers will point at me. What if we make it look like suicide? have something in common, my brother, but I will never forgive you for what you did to my boyfriend in the university days. And you think I've forgiven you for what you did to my best friend, Amara? She deserved it. He deserved it. You know, why don't we just forget about this? Let's just take it at one of the mistakes we made in our university days and move on. Talking about the palace, are we just going to fold our arms and watch what belongs to your brother, my fiancé, go to another family? This is not university fraternity. This is custom and tradition. Don't come of it. Custom and tradition is politics. And politics is a dirty game. 
I want to play dirty. Let's play dirty. Something has to be done before someone else dies. Well, nothing has to be done. If something has to be done at all, it is Abalanze coming with the crown to coronate my husband, Imenike, here. Do you people even know the implications of what you are doing? The kingship will leave our family forever. And what makes you think we don't understand the implications? This is happening because of you. You and Emenike caused it. Father did everything to bring him back, but he refused. He was so stubborn. Forgetting that stubbornness is the mother of disaster. Now look at where we are. How dare you? How dare you talk to my fiance in that tone? Have you gone bananas? No, I have not gone bananas. This is happening because you let it. Look at this irritated frog. But I don't blame you. How do we kill Abalanza? Because from the look of things, that seems the only solution. <laughs> now you're beginning to talk like a king. Do not bother yourself about it. I will handle it. Are you sure you will handle it? Trust me. I will. for power oh, all because of true no is it well who name it no bother what have I done what have I done to deserve all this pain what What have I done wrong? And why does my relationship always end this way? 
Is it that the person dumps me or or he dies? Don't tell me what have I done? You didn't do anything. See, yeah. God knows the best. Yes. Crying will not bring him back. No matter how much you cry, it will bring him back. Just take heart. God knows best. Please. <gasps> Didi. Was he quarreling with anyone? None. Nobody. Well, are you dragging him with anyone? <gasps> no. The princess once told me she found out Kennedy is dating a maid. And, and then she asked me to investigate who the maid is. So? She said it. She hmm. said I should find out who the person is. Wait. Are you saying the princess? Hey! Shut up. Don't even say it. Swallow it. Ha! Please, oh. I don't want to be part of this discussion at all. In fact, I wasn't here. I'm leaving. Excuse us, yes. How are you coping? He was killed. Yes. You know about it? Something awful happened in the palace. An abominable act. And he was part of it. I guess... The gods are angry. They struck him dead. I don't know who is going to be next. But we are trying to fix it. And Daddy, you are a wonderful person. Just take heart. Okay? You will definitely get the best. It's okay. Stop <laughs> crying. It's okay. <clears throat> I don't want to say this, okay? I don't want to say this. All right. It's okay. Come, come. It's okay. Stop. 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 It's okay. Come, come, come. It's all right. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. So, so was he killed by the gods or by a jealous lover? I don't know what you're talking about. You were expelled from the school because of your involvement with cultism. Ruby, I know exactly what you're capable of doing, especially when it comes to men. But remember, the repercussion of ugliness is endless. 
Everything we do, even the slightest thing we do, can have a ripple effect and repercussions that you need. Consequences are the back end of a choice that common sense wonders about on the front end. The truth is that I don't know who sent you. But I might remind you, may I remind you, young man, that you're playing with fire. What? I the judge on Young man, you are playing with fire. Be warned. I said, keep quiet. Be warned. They were playing so which is a bit deep. I like, need to be careful, make I tell you. Yeah. You need to be careful. Destiny. You masterminded all this. Where is the crown? Destiny. Do you know the consequences of your actions? Destiny, you are playing with fire. What you are committing is an abomination. I will ask you one more time. Where is the crown? I don't have it. Who has it? Destiny, I wish I had the crown. By now, I would have been coronated the king of Nkolofia Kingdom. For the last time, who has the crown? And for the last time, I answer you, Destiny. I don't have the crown. <laughs> Destiny, I told you that you're playing with fire. I am the 
chosen of the gods. And by the tradition of Unkalofia Kingdom, I have been fortified. Destiny, I am purified. I now dine and wine with the gods. Awaiting my coronation as the king of this kingdom. I am now Okaramad, Okaramo. Destiny, I am indestructible. A new memota can destroy me. Bury him alive. Now! Destiny, you are committing an abomination. Mkalofia! This is an abomination. Young man is an abominable ass. Destiny, you are committing an abomination. This is an abominable act. The ghost of our land vindicate me. Oh, oh, oh. Uh, uh. I am the chosen of the gods. Oh, oh, this is an abomination. Hey, you can't bury your king alive. Oh, oh, I, mm. uh. I am sorry for what happened the other day. If you were in my shoes, you would have done the same thing. What I do not understand is why you have refused to coronate him again, knowing that your daughter would be the queen after me. What is wrong with you? Our character is an omen to our destiny. And more integrity we have is simpler and nobler as our destiny is to become. Your husband was a nobleman, and I am a nobleman, that's why he chose me. I do not put my personal interest first before the interest of the community. The good of the community comes first before mine. And you're trying to incur an everlasting calamity to this land, which will destroy all that your husband did. Call your son to retrace his steps before it's too late. Are you saying nothing can be done to reverse this? Nothing. Unless the chosen one dies, the kingship will return to a family. Look, son, you can't leave the country. You are the heir apparent to the throne, my only son. So you have to be around to observe how things are done in case I am gone. Father, I've said this severally. I'm not interested in the kingship or whatsoever, no. All I want to do is travel abroad, study fine arts, and become an international artist. That is it. You didn't choose to be born into royalty. And an only son too. Royalty chose you. So, learn how to dance to its acrobatic tour. Well, Dad.
I will travel abroad for my studies. With or without your support. You step out of this palace. Do not come back. Obeneza. My prince. What is it? My prince. Can I speak to you freely? Of course. Go ahead. Have a seat. served your father all my life. We have been friends for a very long time. Even though you are the prince and also my boss. Your father was a very peaceful man. He hated violence. So he did everything humanly possible to avoid violence in this kingdom. It is unfortunate that things happen the way it did. But we cannot achieve a lasting peace through violence. Instead, it will breed more rancor and calamity in this kingdom. So I advise you have a round table discussion with Ono, the elders, Abalanze and Ezemo. Please, my prince. Abalanze. My prince. Go ahead with the preparation for the coronation. I will still retain you as my personal assistant. Don't worry. for power oh, 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 oh. all because of truth no is it well who name in a world Where is my father? Where is my father? Who led this thing into this palace? Get the gas to throw out. Now. Where is my father? If you do not get out of this place now, I will teach you a lesson you will never forget in your life. Our driver came back to tell me that some people came to kidnap my father. And you came to the palace to look for him? Does this look like a police station to you? If your father has been kidnapped, then go make report at the appropriate quarters and stop blabbing like a rabid dog. Mr. Meniko Kafo, I give you just 24 hours to provide my father. Otherwise, I will wreak havoc in this palace. Just 24 hours. You have 24 seconds to get out of this place or I will make you disappear. The time starts now. Do quest for power All because of Trono Is it well who name in Obodo All who name in Obodo 
todo Mili ya mefi nanya I know your brother has my father. But tell him that the killer with the manners of a rabbit is the most dangerous one. All because of the throne, the gods are wise, the gods have chosen. You cannot wrestle the gods of the land. You cannot fight this in me. Has turned into a devil, but this is not what you wanted. Now you are ready to kill, you are ready to destroy anyone that stands in your way. Do you have anything to say before you are completely buried alive? You stepped on the wrong foot, Abalanse. Destiny, you're committing an abomination. What you've just done is sacrilegious. Destiny, you're igniting a fire that will consume the entire core of your community. Destiny, you will suffer. Destiny, your children will suffer. Your children's children will suffer. Destiny, your entire lineage will be wiped out. Colofia Kingdom, I cry for you. Calamity. Calamity will befall this kingdom. But posterity will never. Posterity will never forgive you and Emenika. Amen. Bury him. Yes, hello. Wait. Yes. Why? There's no time. We have to do this now. Just hold on. Don't do anything yet. Well, I already buried him just to cover up his face. Like I said, hold on. Don't do anything yet. I'll explain when I get there. Come on, where's this guy now? No time, oh. Come on, where's this guy? I go take Rooster. You know, see, say bullets, no figure this man. Right, Why you shovel? Why you shovel? Just chill, 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 chill. Now to just wipe your head. Okay. Oh, yeah, me, me not chill last night. Me, me, come. Mama! No good time. Why? Why you two? Calm down. Calm down. Calm down. Why are you staring at me like that? Can I ask you a question? What question? Why do you want to be the king of the color of your kingdom? And why do you ask me that? Just answer the question. Why do you want to be the king? Because it's my turn. I am the rightful heir to the throne of Ukolofia Kingdom. 
it is my place to become the next king. And it will make my woman happy. Do you think you can make a good king? Rule those people the way dad did? I'm not that. And I don't care if I make a good king or not. What matters is that I reclaim my mandate. Where do you think she's going to? Probably going to stop calamity from befalling the community. She's a great listener and she hates to my advice. I can't wait for all of this to be over. I can't wait for the king's barrier to be over. I can't wait for the day you will look into my eyes and say, I do. That day will be my greatest day. With daddy in the fridge and the kingdom on fire. Will the gods be angry with us if we made out now? The gods are wise. They will understand.
SMO! SMO! The crown is missing. And Abanese has been kidnapped. We don't know if he is alive or not. Mm. The crown is safe. Thanks to the gods of Nkolofia Kingdom. Faith is like a strange, unpopular restaurant. Filled with odd little waiters who bring you things you never asked for. And don't want. Life has a cruel sense of humor. Giving you things you wanted at the worst time possible. What is meant to be will always find a way. Do not bother yourself about Ambalanze. Fate is never fair. You are caught in a current much stronger than you. Struggle against it and you will drown. Not just you alone, but the people who came to save you. Swim with it and you will survive. Listen, we have other assignments. Let us be done with this and leave this vicinity. It is not safe. To what end? I don't understand. Even if we kill Abalanze, how are you sure Emenike would be coroneted? And even if he were to be coroneted, the consequences would be alarming. <sighs> So you expect me to fold my arms and let another man take what rightfully belongs to my husband? It will never happen. You're doing this for your selfish desire. Have you thought about the repercussions? My sister told me that consequences at the back end of a choice that common sense wonders about at the front end. I don't have time for this bullshit. Finish it! Stand down! Finish! I said, stand down! How dare you! Wait, 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 wait,
Is it? Is it? Is it worth now? Well, hold on, Dad. Well, you'll be fine. Oh, God. You'll be fine. Take your calls! Take your calls! Take your calls! Take your calls! Take I don't know what's going on. Destiny is not picking her calls. Where did she go? Where is she? She said she was going to take care of her balance. Take care of her balance? How? I think she organized some people to kill him. What? Please, stop her! Call it off immediately! Stop her! No. No more. This is my only chance. That man has to go down if I intend to become king of this community and the love of my life, Queen. Being Queen is the only thing that will make her happy and I will do anything to make her happy. Hold on. Hold on. You are not even doing this for yourself or for the kingdom, but for her. Now what does it matter, Mother? Yes, hello. Where have you been? Why are you not picking your calls? Have you killed him? What? What are you doing with my wife's phone? Give her the phone! Cut some of the lost beans. They either decide to adapt to circumstances or allow circumstances adapt to them. Either way, they win. See you soon. Dad, are you okay? My daughter, thank you so much for saving my life. I did it for the kingdom. I promise you, Ninkal of your community will never forget this. Are you okay? I think they've been arrested. I could hear Jacinta's voice on the background and other voices that sounded like policemen. Sir, you need to leave now. You need to leave this town right now. No, mother, I am not going to abandon destiny. I must see her. Please, my son. Please. You need to leave. You can always see her. You know, I've lost your father. I don't want to lose you. Everything I have. Stop please. it, mom. I am not going anywhere. In fact, I'm going right now to look for her. Come back here!
Mr. Emeni Kokafo, you are under arrest for conspiracy to murder. You have the right to remain silent for anything you say or do here shall be used against you in the court of competent jurisdiction. Officer! What, 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 what are you talking about? Where's Destiny? Where's Destiny? Destiny! Let's go. Officer, let's what are you? Let's go. Yeah, let's go. Destiny. Destiny! 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 Officer, what? What? Destiny! Let's inside. Destiny! I presume you are aware that your son and destiny tried to kill me. Your husband, our late king, chose me for a purpose. He was a wise man and we must respect that. Of course I know that it will be difficult convincing the monkey that honey is sweeter than banana. I want you to remember that we are one family. I am blue blood. We are still royalty. My wife is late and I do not have any intention to remarry. Therefore, you remain the Queen Mother. Let peace reign for the sake of Uncle of your kingdom. The fly that does not heed to advice follows the cows to the grave. You did the right thing. Daddy would be so proud of you. One more thing. You need to confess for killing Kennedy. I know you did that.
Eva. Would you please come with me to the mall? I need to pick up my toiletries. Sure. But you have to pay for mine because I will pick things. Mm -hmm. okay. Let me go pick my handbag. Yeah, sure. I mean what I said earlier. You must confess for killing Kennedy. Don't keep me waiting, Eva. Hello, Didi. Would you please get my bag and shoe? Yes, I'm at the garden. You're going with me to the mall. With the powers bestowed on me as the know, I crown you King Akumbawarobo in pieces that colors your kingdom. A wise man does at once what a fool does unending. A wise man should have money in his head, not in his heart. A single conversation across the table with a wise man is better than 10 years of mere studying of books. A wise man takes a decision and stands by it, while a fool follows public opinion. Oh no, you are a wise man. And I have decided to retain you as the traditional Prime Minister of Nkolofia Kingdom. 
Thank you, Your Majesty. I will serve with wisdom, vigor, and integrity. Together we will work to preserve the legacy of the late king and uplift the image of Uncolofia Kingdom to a vintage point. Oh no! 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 Let me go and meet the elders outside. They are there waiting. Oh, Father! You look so great in this outfit. My bad. Your Majesty the King, you look so great in this outfit. My princess. Oh, Father! I love this new title. Perhaps. I should be addressed as ASP Princess Jacinta Okafor. <laughs> that is my daughter. <laughs> my king. My princess. Nam. Ezepweselege. <laughs> <laughs> Your Majesty, you summoned me. Oh, yes, of okay. Please sit. Thank you. I learned you actually safeguarded the crown. Thank you very much. I was only protecting the kingdom and doing what King Obuago would have wanted me to do. I'm talking about my late brother, Obuago. You served him very well. I would want you to remain as my personal assistant, considering the fact that you are already in the know about the day-to-day -day runnings and activities of this royal home. Thank you so very much for your offer, but I do not wish to remain a servant in the palace. As a matter of fact, I am now the shareholder in the royal company and a fiance to the princess. I appreciate your confidence and its kind gestures towards me. Perhaps Jacinta will make our best personal assistant, my king. Obelenze, you should know that considering my present status as the king, my daughter Jacinta automatically becomes a princess. Oh, I forgot. Permit me to take my leave, Your Majesty. I couldn't have killed him because I loved him. I just wanted to teach him a lesson. True love cannot be found where it does not exist. Nor can it be denied where it does. Death cannot stop true love. It can only delay it for a while. When a man truly loves a woman, she becomes his weakness. When a woman truly loves a man, 
he becomes our strength. Love cannot be forced. It comes naturally. Do enjoy yourself and invite me to your wedding. Let's go, sis. Let's go. Do I need to tell you that I'm proud of you? <laughs> Thank you so much. Ruby. Sis. Thank you very much.